OK, great. Try to be brief because of because of time. Thanks for the opportunity to feedback on the working group, which has been meeting for a few months now, uh, roughly the third Friday of every month. We currently um, only have one time zone. Well, one time we have Europe and, and uh, the United States covered in terms of time zones, and we will probably have to set up a separate call for our uh, other time zones in Southeast Asia and so forth. So uh, watch this space on that. Um, just to uh, give some background, why why set up the education work group? I, I mean, we are all aware of the enormous amount of resources that have been created over time and are currently being uh, created um, within the Odyssey community. So everything from tutorials and webinars, symposias, legacy videos of those, the forums and the working groups themselves, uh, numerous demo sites, uh, the Book of Odyssey, uh, which is now in uh, three languages, if I recall, but that potentially offers the other languages too, maybe supporting some of the initiatives we've heard about from the other work groups, global and local initiatives, uh, begin beginning of certain curricula in different uh, institutions and entities uh, in and around Odyssey, hosted environments, uh, odyssey.org itself, uh, New Eden Academy, which is kind of close to my heart, of course, and YouTube and so on. These are considerable, but very kind of organic, I suppose, in terms of development over time and for need. And, and, and the idea was to create a strategic approach to ensure that we can maximise and, and optimise the use of these resources, as well as to, to meet gaps and address aspects, which I think were very nicely mentioned earlier for the uh, for the younger or the early research uh, group as well, for instance. Um, busy slide, uh, very unusual for me, uh, but um, but certainly as you look globally, of course, and this is really important, Odyssey is a global village, uh, as well as all these hosted environments and resources, we have the various chapters, of course, internationally as well. Within each of these chapters, we have all sorts of uh, compatriot colleagues and so forth in academic centres and so on as well. The beginnings of Odyssey centres, of course, as well, and obviously uh, from Columbia, but also in the in, in North America, for instance, with uh, with the Rue Institute, as we're, as we're aware of, of course. Um, and then numerous in, in, initiatives uh, in, internationally in other regions as well. All of them and inclusive of, of the development of things like the chapter in, in Africa, which is fantastic development. But all of them, of course, will bring with them uh, not only opportunities, but certain challenges as well of, 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 of supporting uh, individuals and colleagues within the, the Odyssey community. If you look at, uh, well, slightly crude, maybe segmentation of the Odyssey community, you can break us down into into novices, intermediates, experts, and, and mentors. I don't. Uh, I won't go through this slide in more depth, and I think it'll be circulated after. Lots of text, uh, but certainly, and we've already heard from the early research group about some of the learning curves and challenges of joining the Odyssey community. I mean, it's nobody's an empty, empty bucket to be filled, if I can use that expression. But certainly, there are a lot of individuals who come with their diverse experience from many different disciplines and so forth, but then need to learn about conducting open science and research uh, within the Odyssey framework, if I can call it that. Um, and then build, and then finding a way in the intermediate stage through to expert stage, and then eventually maybe a pinnacle role um, uh, as well in, in terms of being a mentor on behalf of experts and others, intermediates and novices um, beneath this area. But, but not everyone will want to be a mentor and everyone will necessarily become an expert, but certainly we need to support everyone at different roles and in different, different uh, positions, if you like, in this segmentation of the community. And it's a community that's growing and it's, community, it's actually growing actually very rapidly now, uh, globally and internationally. Uh, I'm sorry to use that phrase, glocal, but, uh, but, but it's, uh, it's a trite uh, word, but, but certainly a global perspective, but also very much uh, with, a, with a local flavour, as it were, in terms of, of utilising Odyssey for, for, for research within your, within your own countries or within your own chapters and regions. Um, much of what we've done, and really the highlight here is the title on this slide, much of what we do within Odyssey is very much based on around collaboration and self-directed learning. Uh, there are resources, initiatives to support us as a community and as groups and so forth, but also much of uh, what we do, I think, and, and reflection is, is, is very much based on individuals learning um, either, uh, either self-directed or, or, or within various initiatives. For instance, in, in some examples like studyathons is it? It a good example of being used as also not just a research use case and, and method in itself, but also an educational resource as well beyond that. Um, we have other resources, things like the Eden Academy, which has grown out of the Eden Project in Europe, but is actually a global resource. And we have more than 1,300 enrollees now since we launched in April 2020. 
10 courses, mainly focused on ETL learning pathway, part of the project's requirements, but also now tools, methods and skills and so forth. All freely available, some based on uh, resources developed previously, particularly video based, but also now bespoke courses being developed going forward uh, as well. And we're also looking to expand and promote uh, the use of the uh, the academy. Uh, you'll see these flyers starting to be appear in, in, in due course. They're just uh, just going to be going live uh, soon. And we've done some uh, some feedback work and so forth, evaluations and so forth. Pleased to say that 93% of students uh, rated experience as good to excellent in terms of use of the academy. So if you forget everything else I mentioned the academy, this is a good statistic to remember, as it were. But uh, I'll come back to that in a later day. So we have an opportunity, continue expansion of the need for real world data, real world evidence uh, anyway, obviously post pandemic uh, quite clearly. Um, I think it's a recognition internationally of a need for upskilling in the skills, experience of work, methods of working with real world data and real world evidence. And importantly, having scientific outputs people can have confidence in. And we know that that's a real challenge internationally uh, across the spectrum. And Odyssey is in a unique position as a global open science community to support that. And clearly that's been reinforced by, by COVID-19 more latterly in terms of supporting this too. So actually where we are as a group is that we propose to plan, implement and evaluate an educational strategy in Odyssey. We're working on a draft of this currently. So that's within the group which we want to share uh, within, within the community, within the, the leadership, as it were, but also within our working groups. We definitely need to see, need to see overlap as well. I think some of the points raised in the, in the earlier uh, discussions uh, related to the early researchers group, there's some overlap in, in some of our thinking, and we need to make sure that we're, we're consistent here. And I'm not really going to go, because we don't have time to go through some of our recommendations already. I just want to whet your appetite to see that there's some of the recommendations that will be coming forth with from the group. Uh, which is some of you are, are, are in this uh, in, in this evening's uh, call as well, particularly uh, Andrew and, and Paul and others uh, more latterly, uh, Ross and, and, and the various other colleagues as well who've been involved in, in, in the discussions that have led to this strategy document, which we'll hope to have available in September. Well, that's the plan to, for wider circulation and discussion in terms of how we can have a coherent forward thinking and potentially resource strategy as well, which is really important to, uh, to, to work strategically across quite a challenging area in terms of uh, onboarding into Odyssey, but also ensuring our scientific output meets the high rigors that everyone wants to deliver. And I'll stop there. Thanks for the time.